Okay, some won't always tell you about the beginning of their comedy career. But uh, here it goes. I was four years of age. I performed on South Street in Philadelphia. And I I might have had a three minute. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, my dad takes me inside. And I think we were working at uh, possibly the night or it was daytime. Um, it's a hazy memory because it was in 1994. Okay. So, sorry about that. I had to. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I'm a four year old kid. I know the one thing that's off limits is cursing. I'm excited. Um, I'm doing great. I I might have did a three minute or was a five minute or a seven minute set. If you know comedians, it it varies. Usually from uh, seven minutes it goes to about some do ten or eleven or twelve. Usually it goes to a fifteen minute set, a half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. From three minutes to five minutes to seven minutes. You clearly know I was in them clubs. Yes, yes I was. Um, next thing I remember. And this is a monumental uh, thing. What turned me into a professional, which was that same day, and Kevin Hart was in the clubs. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I will admit it. Who else was in there? Um, I'm trying to remember another comedian, possibly. It's hard to place him. Um, or a comedian. There was another one in there working. I think even Whoopi Goldberg made a special appearance to go see Kev. He was doing great, like he always was. And um, I'm starting to think about writing movies. See, the thing about me is I was born in January. My birthday is January 8th. So when I'm four years old, I don't have to worry about school because I just turned four. I started in September. I got a nine-month lead, and I ain't letting it go. But uh, I think I might have did a three-minute set, a five-minute or a seven-minute set. But it wasn't a 15 minutes or a half an hour or a, a, a hour, an hour and a half, two hours. It wasn't. And I'm sorry this isn't the funniest of stories. Sorry I didn't take a detour and tell y'all uh, anything different. But I made $50. That's what turned me into a professional. Uh, a grant. A, a $50 bill. A Ulysses S. Grant uh, $50 USD A American uh, bill. And I got my start in 1994. A lot of you not. It was... It was it was a monumental moment. Kevin Hart was in there. People were in there. It was a it was a packed show. I think also Richard Belzer. If Nikki remembers this, we were going. Belzer was about to perform later. Uh, I think maybe two days later, we had to uh, give us some tickets. I had the privilege to be able to do that. Nikki, do you remember Richard Belzer? One of the best of all time. We saw them. Nikki Atkins Abrams was uh, not yet on the bill. She wasn't doing comedy yet. I forced her into this industry, y'all. Y'all. Y'all should know sometimes friends make things look great. And then they know they're great. She had nothing but a great experience back in the days. Don't make it a, a little worse now that y'all got her back in these offices. But $50 turned me into a professional comedian. And the year was 1994. I was four years of age. Comedian from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Joshua Minor. NBC's Joshua Minor in the house and director of Julius, a movie you could watch uh, anytime. Spelled J U L I U S. Julius. It's a film about Julius Henry Groucho Marx, and I was learning how to write, and I also was writing scripts at the same time with my father's help. I told him about what I wanted the dialogue to be. He'd write it down. Next thing you know, we're going to NBC, working with Universal, and they told us uh, maybe Fox Searchlight. And that's who the film is actually with, in association with What Do You Think Productions. I am not the only owner. The other owners have Pembleton and Minor in their names, my father, my mother, my brother, and my sister. But we settled on me being the director since uh, Hollywood and show business was really my thing. My brother, actually, uh, he could be a five-star chef. Four Star Chef, a Michelin Chef, Le Cordon Bleu, you name it, he, he, he could really go there. He could cook. Nate could burn. My brother Nathaniel also uh, helped a lot of animation and other places like uh, Fox and 19th, 20th, 21st Century Fox, Fox Searchlight, also Netflix. 
I wanted to turn my brother into a cartoon that was also pivotal for me. And uh, you'll be seeing him in the upcoming years with Nathaniel Fox and Thump's World. His nickname is Thump. He's not a fighter. He's a lover of life. And um, he's fighting for nothing more than uh, peace and equality out here in this world. And that's just uh, in all honesty. But Nikki, do you remember the Belzer show? What do you remember? I know she's posting too. And y'all might not know me uh, too well until I'm your cousin Oliver on CBS. But for the whole NBC Joshua Minor uh, in the house experience, the Broadway uh, experience, I know y'all recognize Radio City Music Hall. To my friends Christopher Simmons, uh, Justin Simmons, Shannon Simmons, who lived on 58th and Warrington, I appreciate all of your help. I can't forget about the Smith family. Kevin Smith, I'm sorry, I got the sniffles a little bit. Kevin Smith, Will Smith, LL Cool J, James Todd Smith, they're all cousins and they're related. And Justin and Shannon are brothers to a friend of mine, Christopher Wu Simmons. He's also a designer, a clothing designer. But yeah, uh, fun little story and it'll be more in the world as uh, the years go by. About uh, this young talent from Philadelphia. Doesn't curse a lot. But I'm trying to be a cleaner act. I told y'all right now. I might not cuss, but so much. But uh, that's just keeping it gangster. And where I'm from, keeping it gangster just meant being honest about it. I'll talk to y'all. Hey, $50 changed my life. Turned me from a, a, a working comedian to a professional.